Hey everybody, it's Elisa here. And I just wanted to share with you some things that I bought on the internet last week. Uh, most of them had Black Friday sales and one of them did not. It was just an Amazon order. So let's get started. The first thing, sorry, I'm just looking at my notes here. The first thing, this one is from Lockby and that's how you spell it, L-O-C-H-B-Y. And I got a tool roll in navy. I'll take it out. It's a navy, there's the tag, keep creating. I already have one of these in brown. I'll show you it right here. This is the one I have in brown. I don't have it folded very well. But anyways, let's see. I'll show you the inside of this brown one. So it's got like a mesh zipper pouch and these two flaps kind of hold down your pens or your brushes. This is a brush. It's probably too skinny for that, for that elastic. Anyway, um, that is my brown one. So I like it so much that I wanted to get another one. And I got it in navy because I was thinking maybe one could have graphite in it and the other one could have ink. So let me tell you about some of the specifics. The brown one right now for Black Friday is on sale for $19.60 and it used to be $49. Um, and it is $49 the rest of the year. I think I got this one maybe with like a 25 or 30 percent off discount last year. Um, but if you're going to pay regular price, it's $49. And then they also sell a navy in like this tan color. You can open it. And then it also comes in black, but the black is sold out right now on their website. And I don't own any of their black items, so I can't really speak to that. But it, it on their website, it says that you can use it like a pen roll, a cycling tool kit, first aid. You can also put like tech if you wanted to put cords in here and chargers and stuff. I'm not going to do that. I'm not very techy. And I love pens so much. I'm not really on any shortage of pens. Um, but it's made out of waxed canvas. This is waxed canvas. It's really tough and thick. It does scratch a little bit, but I don't mind. I actually like it when my stuff starts to look worn. Um, and then it's water and abrasion resistant. And then this little buckle thing they say is aircraft quality aluminum. And it has four slots where you can put it in depending how full it is and when you first get it it's kind of tight but over time it does get looser and it's not so hard to to put in there see I'm like struggling with it but it doesn't stay that difficult to use and then it has a good adjustment it can go all the way like this I've never filled it that full but I mean looks like you could still hook it if you wanted to and then it says it has double stitching and bar tacking and I do not sew so I don't know what bar tacking means uh, but okay so then sorry looking at these notes is distracting sorry about that and then it has these three pockets and they go all the way down to here which is really cool um, and then it has the zipper side pouch Here's a silica gel packet. I have so many of those. Um, and then it is unrolled. It is eight inches by 16 inches or 20 centimeters by 40 centimeters. And it weighs 5.5 ounces or 155 grams. Unloaded, of course. So mine, my brown one, on this side, I kind of keep like a little extra mixing palette and a paper towel just because of the mesh. I feel like it's going to dry out faster. And then in here, I usually put an art tool kit watercolor palette. You can put those thicker ones, but it gets a little bulky for that. But I've got fine liners, a brush pen, a watercolor pencil, 
a jelly roll, a water brush, a neo color, another water brush pen. Maybe it's watercolor. Yeah, I think it's Arteza. Yeah. And I could still put a lot more in here. And I do. I just, it kind of depends what I'm using it for at the moment. But anyway, that is called the Tool Roll by Lockbee. So I got the navy one. This, this year I got the navy. Last year was the brown. And then also from Lockbee, I got their field journal. And I got this one in brown. And these come in the same colors as the tool roll, the navy, the black, and the brown. And I don't know what the availability on those colors are right now. And this one, I think I, wow, I don't think I wrote the price down for this one. But I think it's normally $59, and I think I got it for maybe $30, maybe $30. But anyway, it has the same clasp, has a handle on the side here with the yellow stitching, the same wax canvas, and it has a pen loop on the side. And you can put thin pens or thick pens in there. And they say that you can use this for planners, journals, or sketchbooks. And it does come with one of the dot grid journals. And we'll look at we'll look at these because I did order more of these. And that is 5.8 inches by 8.3, 72 pages, and a stitched binding. Well, let's just open it right now. And then it uses the fountain pen friendly Tomo River paper. And it's, I got the dot, well, it comes with the dot grid, but the extra ones I ordered are also in dot grid. And I like the dot grid because it's, um, it's a faint dot grid. So if I want to draw on here, I, I don't care if the dots are in the background because I would just be doing like sketches and thumbnails and things in this anyway. But if I want to write in it, the line, the dots give me a little bit of a structure to sort of write straight. <laughs> and it does lie flat. You can even fold it back on itself if you wanted. And then it does say that it holds six of these comfortably, which is really neat because I kind of want to have them for different purposes. I'm not even exactly sure what I'm going to use this for. I just really like their products and I wanted this one. But anyway, you can put it in the middle on an elastic cord. There's four of these here. I'm not sure how you would fit six in there. I'm kind of challenged when I have to mess with these bands. So I don't know how that works, but I believe them that it holds six. And then it has these ribbon markers, um, another mesh pouch some card holders, I guess if you wanted to use this like sort of like a huge wallet or maybe you don't want to bring a wallet to work or something, you can put your IDs in here and stuff. This pocket goes all the way down and then this is a big pocket here. There's another pen holder right here on the inside. And then the back has another uh, Velcro pouch, pouch, pocket, I don't know. And then same thing, the aircraft quality aluminum hook. And it does have a little bit of adjustability, not as much as the tool roll, but it does have that. And then, okay, I'll show you the inserts. So the inserts, I literally got four of the same ones. These were on, uh, not clearance, but on a Black Friday sale for $5.40 each. They're normally $8.99. Uh, I think they're cheaper per book if you get on their subscription plan for these. Um, I'm not going to go through them that fast. So I just bought four of them and then it came with one. So I'm not going to need any paper for a while. But oh, the paper is 68 GSM. It's white paper, 72 pages. Okay, so, oh, and the refills are available in dot grid, ruled, plain, wide ruled, and planner. And I'm, their planner notebooks, I think, are in six-month increments, and they're undated. 
Uh, I'm not huge into planning. Every time I try to plan, I just fail. I only last for like a week or something. Um, so yeah. Oh, and then this thing does weigh 10 ounces or 300 grams unfilled. And that's all I got from Lock B. Yeah. And then this next thing I got from Art Toolkit. Maybe you can see that. It comes in this cool box. I'll probably keep this box. Um, I do have other items from Art Toolkit. I have their bigger palette. But this one is their limited edition holiday demi set. And it comes in this logo Art Toolkit canvas bag with the green drawstring. And in here, you've got, this was $52 without shipping. And you get the Hannah Mula Agave watercolor pad. And it's a eight by 10 and a half centimeters or a 3.1 by 4.1 inch. And it's 290 GSM, 135 pounds, 12 sheets, natural white, cold pressed, 70% agave fiber, and 30% cotton rag. It's not a block. The sheets are loose. I've never tried their watercolor paper before. And then you get a Pentel mini water brush. I have these, I have a lot of these in the larger sizes and I really like them. I wish the tips would last longer, but besides that, they're really nice. And then you get another small logo bag with the same green. And do you wanna see the palette first or the card? Maybe the palette, right? And then here's the palette. It's super adorable. This is our toolkit on the back, Demi palette in green. Normally these come in um, silver and black. And then I ordered mine pre-filled with the Van Gogh watercolor, which is, I don't know if it's considered professional or student grade, but I think it's more of a student grade paint, but I really like it. I think it's perfectly fine for sketchbook work or putting in your purse or even finished work really if you watch for the light fast ratings and it came pre-filled with 12 colors and that is $52 to have the paint in there but you can also buy this whole set without the paint in there and I think that's $35 but you can't buy these palettes these limited edition palettes you can't buy them without the kit without this water brush and the paper that has to you have to get it together and then here's the little card that came with it it's pretty Demi Explore palette plus and there's the colors transparent yellow medium yellow ochre permanent red light quin rose turquoise thalo blue ultramarine permanent blue violet burnt Santa burnt umber Payne's gray and sap green and I think uh I think that's a really solid range of colors. And then on the back, it just tells you how to mix a range of browns and grays using complements. And it says you use Payne's Gray to tone down any color. Limit mixes to three colors to avoid mud and a little phthalo blue goes a long way, which is very true. So that was really fun. I have their bigger palette their folio palette, which does fit in the tool roll. And, um, but this one, I, did, I didn't have the tiniest one, so I'm excited about that. I'm gonna put all this back in the bag. The paper. Maybe, maybe I'll get it back in there. And the water brush, and then I think all I'm gonna do is put in a pencil and a fine liner maybe, and then I'm gonna keep that in my purse because it's super lightweight. You can use it on nature walks, cafe journaling, backpacking, urban sketching, in your house, 
whatever. Oh, they do also sell the larger palette in the green, and it comes in a kit also with like a, a lot more stuff, but it was more money, and I really wanted a small one, so that is from Art Toolkit. Then the last thing that I got were stamps. And this came from Amazon. And the seller was called Worldwide Postage Stamps. And this is a set of 500 stamps from various nations. It says, the title was Packet of 500 Different Collectible Worldwide Stamps. And that is really noisy. Sorry about that. Anyway, look at all these cool stamps. And these, I think I'm just going to use in journals, maybe collaging. Um, if I ever learn how to keep a planner or something, these would be fun, I think, to add just a little bit of color. So if you like collecting stamps I mean it says they're collectible so I don't even know if I should be collaging with them but I don't collect stamps so I don't know I don't feel like doing the research on it so I'm probably gonna ruin something that's super fancy but I don't know maybe not these weren't even very expensive I think this was about 16 or 18 dollars for 500 stamps I thought that was a good deal I have been just collecting stamps off my mail, but nothing is very cool. So, so yeah, that is what I got. Oh, that one's neat. That's like a, a track star. Well, I don't know if it's a star. It could just be an average track runner. Anyway, all sorts of colors. Birth of the post office, Australia. Nice. But I will say, if you don't like this um, smell of vintage books and paper, don't get these because they kind of do smell like that. That's Canada. Netherlands. Hopefully I'm not showing you the same one over and over again. So that's it. That's all I got. That was my small haul. If you want to see close-ups of any more of the stamps or a more detailed look at one of these items, I'd be happy to show you. All right, see you next time. Bye.